Hello everyone and welcome back to FNAF, the branch off of my Twitter account Cawthon Updates where you may or may not know me from. So today we have more news on Finance of Freddy's security breach and all the voice actors that have been added to this cast for this game. So if you didn't watch my last video, I'm gonna catch you up real quick. So there's this website called Voices.com where you can hire voice actors for jobs for like uh, commercials or video games, just general voiceover jobs. And Scott Cawthon loves to use this website to cast his FNAF games and all the voice actors. He's been using this website for years and years and on this website actually the people who are hired to be voice actors can leave reviews for Scott Cawthon on how he was and what the experience was like and over the years all these voice actors have left reviews for Sister Location, FNAF World, etc etc and it kind of gave us a look into what the characters were going to be like in the upcoming games and what the voices were going to be like and what the characters names were going to be and now we have six more voice actors who have been added to the list for the new Security Breach game. I've already covered the first three on my last video I'll leave it linked right on the top right corner you can just click it right there Go watch that video for those three, and we have three new ones today that we're going to be talking about. First up is Tim Simmons. The character that Tim Simmons was hired to play is very, very interesting. It's unlike anything we've ever heard in the Finest of Freddy's franchise. The character is Robotic Overlord. I don't think in any FNAF game that I know of we've ever had something close to Robotic Overlord. That seems like really, really weird. <laughs> Tim left a review for Scott saying, thanks Scott, if you need anything else, let me know. Nice working with you. I honestly have no idea what this could mean for the new game or what character this could be. It's all brand new, like all these characters don't seem like anything we've ever heard of before. So it'll be interesting to see what role this guy plays in the new game. Scott also left a review on Tim's profile saying, great working with Tim, took direction very well, and I'm excited to see what he has to offer. Next we have Melissa Khan. Melissa voiced a character called What a Sweet Kid, No Evil Intentions. And it looks like Scott either wants options for this role or he's just making us different characters or I'm not sure. He's having multiple voice actors play this role so I'm interested to see how that plays out. Melissa left a review saying Scott was awesome to work with, gave very clear instruction. Scott also left a review on Melissa's page saying Melissa was great, hope to work with her again. It's really interesting seeing this character being voiced two times, I'm interested to see how that plays out in Security Breach. The third and last one we have is Jaden Luo and he voiced a character called Kid in a Box. This has to be the most interesting character we have seen out of these reviews. So as we all know, the box is kind of a cursed thing with the Finance of Freddy's franchise. Uh, if anyone remembers Finance of Freddy's 4, the box, you know, never told us what was in it. I mean, he kind of did, but like, it was never opened, you know what I mean? Anyways, I don't know if this has any correlation with the actual box from FNAF 4. I personally think it has to do with the marionette and the box that the marionette comes out of, but we'll see. Jaden left a review saying, excited, honored to be a part of this project. Scott was easy to work with, relaxed, clear directions, fast decision, and payment great, great experience. So it looks like Jaden's actually a fan of the Finest of Freddy's franchise. That's actually really interesting and really excited for him. I can't imagine what it'd be like to have a voice in one of these Finest of Freddy's games. That would be literally mind-blowing. So of course, Scott left a review on Jaden's page as well. He said Jaden was great to work with. So it's really nice seeing Scott enjoy the way these people portray his characters. And the last thing I'd like to report on for the day is actually something really huge. So I don't know if this stuff is public on Voices.com or you have to be like a member of Voices.com to see it, but I found this on Reddit. This screenshot of a job posting by Scott Cawthon for Kid on the Run, this is a bad situation. If you notice, the word count for this character is 4,000, and it's 26 minutes of dialogue. This has to be like the main character of the game. He's paying $2,000 to $2,500 for this character. So if you're a kid professional voice actor listening to this video, go apply for this job. That's pretty good money. I wish I had that much money when I was that young. So I just want to point one more thing out before we go. So the teaser on Scott Games right now is the Protect teaser with the girl peeking around the corner with the flashlight. That really makes me think that one of the mechanics of this game is going to be protecting all of these kid characters. Because as more and more reviews pop on Scott games.com there's more and more child characters in this game so i really think that protect mechanic is going to be huge for this game so what i'm thinking is the villain is vanny and we are this girl and there's a bunch of kids running around this mall and we are trying to protect those kids from vanny so if i were to put money on it that's what i think the new finest freddy's game would be so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.